What are you looking at, butthead? All right, I'm going to roll with these reviews. I'm going to keep going. So this is Get the Gringo from 2012. And my twin brother, he saw this and he said he really liked it. And we have very similar tastes in movies. So I thought I'd give it a try, uh, watch it. And I was interested. It was on Netflix. And I like Mel Gibson. He's a good actor. But uh, you probably know he hasn't been coming out with nearly as many films as he used to. And uh, I guess I'll, I'll rant a little bit. So one of his last big movies was Signs, the M. Night Shyamalan movie Signs from 2002. And then he did one after that. But right around after 2004, you know, he really stopped doing serious work. And uh, he didn't do anything between 2004 and 2010. So he had a six-year break there. And, of course, that was largely due to the fact that, you know, he got a lot of those tapes got released. Um, him on record being very, you know, anti-Semitic and uh, just saying a lot of racist and really not good things, uh, very mean things. And that's going to rub a lot of people the wrong way, and obviously it did, especially in the, the movie industry. So... I don't really know if he was, you know, bad to work with on sets or anything like that. And a lot of people are, are divas and stuff like that. I don't know if that was him, if he had that kind of problem, like, on set. But just the offset stuff, saying a lot of those those mean things and very non-politically correct things, of course. And so it just really got him on the wrong side of the industry. I think people really turned away from him, too. Obviously, audiences aren't going to go and support somebody like that. Which I, I understand completely, but he's also a really good actor, and I don't have that problem of just, you know, disconnecting his personal life from his characters that he creates in movies, because, you know, that's what he is, he's acting as a character, so I can largely ignore some, uh, an artist's off-screen or, um, personal life if they're, you know, performing or something like that, so, but I like him. Uh, his 2010 movie was Edge of Darkness, which is okay. It was a cop movie. He's getting kind of, seems like he's getting kind of stuck with those roles too, like kind of gritty, grittier cop roles or something like that. And so this is one of those movies, uh, Get the Gringo. Starts out right away. He's, uh, being chased. He's in a getaway car. He just robbed a bank with somebody else. They're wearing these, uh, pretty funny clown masks. And he ends up, uh breaking over the border into Mexico, and so he gets uh, taken into custody by Mexican police, the federales, because they see that there's this giant bag of cash sitting next to him, so they want to take it. And that was kind of his, <clears throat> uh, Mel Gibson's character's way of getting out of the U.S. And I guess you should say his name. Oh, they don't tell, don't give him his name. Yeah, they don't really res uh, refer to him as anything. Pretty much throughout the old, the movie, they just don't give him a name. They just listed as driver and the uh, credits and on IMDb. So he gets taken to this really, really e extensive giant prison. Uh, I don't see the name's not listed here. Uh, El Pueblito. And I think it's uh, kind of by Tijuana. It's pretty much just this giant city uh, of criminals, but you know, there's men, women, children, uh, if you're not incarcerated, you can go in and out pretty freely. So it's just like this huge couple city blocks. This huge, huge prison. So he gets sent there. And he's pretty calm and collected the whole time. He's a, a real cool customer. And he just kind of acts like, you know, he's a, a lifelong criminal. And just kind of acts like this is whatever. And um, what he really wants to do is get his money. So he's trying to figure out ways to get his money, and you kind of slowly start to get pieces of what got him into the prison and everything like that. Or I guess I should say who he stole the money from is kind of a big deal. And uh, ends up being um, Peter Stormare is uh, a big like criminal. That's who he stole from. Uh, Anyways, um, so in the prison, you know, there's like a hierarchy of who's controlling everything, and it ends up being actually a gangster that's in the prison, uh, runs everything. And uh, Mel Gibson's character, he 
just becomes friends with this kid. Um, and they start hanging out, and then he's kind of gets friendly with his mom, and he realizes there's a reason that this kid is being kept alive in the prison. He's actually being protected by uh, Caracas, or uh, sorry, Javi is the main, the boss of the prison, and uh, they're protecting the kid because he needs his liver. Uh, Javi, the criminal, has a, a really, really rare blood type, and the kid has the same, and so they're kind of keeping him around to take his liver if he ever needs it. And that's like kind of a side story. But I don't really want to divulge too much of the story. It's, um, I don't say it's not like a mystery, but it's a bit of a thriller and you start to learn things throughout. So I don't want to give a bunch of spoilers. It's really good. I was surprised. Um, I'm giving it a 4.25 out of 5. So I really liked it. It's uh, really funny. It starts out really funny. Kind of some dark humor later. Uh, there's this one really, really unexpected turn. Uh, that happens with the kid, and it happens, I was like, whoa, uh, because it's, like, funny and clever, it's a very clever story, I thought that was really good, and then there's this one part with this kid, and it's just like, whoa, I wasn't expecting that at all, and then, it's just really interesting, uh, Mel Gibson is really good at these parts, it's very, very similar to his movie Payback, if you saw that and liked it, which I really did, it's very, very similar, um, and actually, uh, let's see, I was just looking, Adrian Grunberg is the director, and he's worked with uh, Mel Gibson for quite a while, so he worked with him on uh, Apocalypto and Edge of Darkness, and um, he's the director. It's a good, it's a good, you know, starts out kind of like a heist movie, and uh, it was a good crime movie, and it's pretty funny too, it has its funny parts, so I'd say check it out, it's on Netflix right now. Um, I don't know how much longer it'll be on there. But if you like Mel Gibson or if you just like a good heist movie, a good crime movie, it's uh, definitely worth a watch. So it's kind of a, a combination. I was thinking it's like very similar to Payback with maybe a little bit of the Mexican, that uh, Brad Pitt, Julia Roberts movie kind of sprinkled in there. So if you like those movies, uh, I'd say check it out. It's, uh, it's pretty good. All right.